Hey, it's James from Mac Audio, and today we're doing a speaker install the way they should be done. So there's a couple variations I'm gonna have to show you. Uh, but first thing is we're doing a seven inch speaker in place of the six by nine, and we're doing a six and a half in place of the six by half and a half. So the doors are already taken apart because uh, that can vary per vehicle. But what we're gonna show you is how we build our plates and how we sound to end and get the speakers actually installed. All right, so first things first is I got a, a quarter inch piece of, sorry, HDPE plastic, and I got the speaker on it and I'm outlining it and I'm gonna rough cut it with my jigsaw. So that was the six by nine, I actually already did it. So now I'm gonna take the six and a half and I'm gonna do it again. Uh, if you're doing this a lot, you always wanna try to maximize your space to make it the best it can. Um, right now I'm putting them upside down because that's the easiest, because you get the magnet. Um, but I'll show you how I get around that when it comes to the routering side. If you don't have a router, you can keep it rough cut. A uh, router just makes it look much prettier. So, get the speaker on, take a marker, and we just trace it. And you're gonna rough cut it to the inside of that marker. That's one. That's two. So we got our outlines traced on the board here. I'll show you. Uh, the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna cut the holes in the middle. I wanna do that while it's still a bigger piece uh, and easier for me to handle. So I am gonna trace what I want. I'm gonna do some rough cuts and roughly jig it out. Uh, the hard part here is finding a circle or something that works. I have a plethora of templates here. Unfortunately, I don't have one that works perfectly with this. So the way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna use my spiral flush with an oversized bearing so that it'll run alongside this, but cut it uh, 3 16 I believe it is. Yes, 3 16 of an inch in, so you know, almost quarter of an inch. Um, and that would should give me a big enough circle to fit this. I don't know if it's gonna fit. It might be a little small, but we can always open it up. You know, you rather, you can always go one way. It's hard to go the other way. So we're gonna get it in and see how it goes. All right, so I was doing the same thing for the rear speaker. Um, and I don't have one for that either. So I'm gonna do this differently. Uh, this is something that might be more feasible for some of you, but I have a uh, circle cutter. So I'm going to use this. I know that this is five and a half inches. I got to go look at the other one and we're going to do it this way to create the circle and in the speaker spacer. So I am going to do that with the circle cutter and I'll come back and show you the rest. All right. So we got two of them done. I figured I'd do a quick video uh, quickly showing you how I do it just so you can see one of them. So we got the circle jig here. I am, I found the center of where I want to do. I screw the screw in. I leave it a little loose. You set the ruler to where you need it to be. So these are a little bigger, so I gotta go a little bit bigger. Whoops. Right about there. Then you lock the, oh, sorry, I missed the step. You gotta drill out your hole, which is a round center. You gotta kind of guesstimate it. this guy in Take the speaker and you're going to dry fit it. 
and mine is, I gotta go a little bit bigger. So we're gonna do it again. And make it a little bit bigger, and then I'll use that template to know where to be for the next one. All right, so focusing on the rear speaker, I have my shape uh, cut out, rough cut. So I went around, you can see the line, and I just rough cut. You can see it's not perfect. Some areas are closer, some areas are further. And I'm gonna take my speaker, I'm gonna drop it in place. Um, I'm gonna break these tabs off, and I'm gonna screw the spa speaker to the plastic right where the screw holes are, and we're gonna router it. All right, so I got the speaker on. Uh, one thing you wanna make sure is the screws do not come through. Uh, mine did, so I had to add a little spacer and back them out a little bit. Um, but I got the speaker on that nice and tight, and I'm going to now router this to make it the same exact size. All right, so once that's done, you can take out the screws and you got your template. Actually, I'll just do that real quick. Um, you can now do the exact same thing to the other piece, or you can take your newfound template and tape it to the other piece. It's got to get a little cleaned up, but that's it. And then my speaker's going to drop right in there. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, so you can take this and you can tape it to the other piece and do the same thing again. All right, so I got the uh, six by nines done, and when I went to dry fit them in the car, I took both the black ones, and I wanted to see how much space I needed, and they were already stuck together, so I just took them, and I took the speaker, and I put it in, and it fit perfect. So I was like, well, damn, because I knew I was gonna need to add a, a spacer, I was thinking more, to this on top of it to space the speaker out. Well, since two of these work so good together, I figured I might as well, it's easier than adding a spacer, is remake new ones. I only had it in white, but it's the same thickness. So I remade them in um, white because it's half inch thick instead of a quarter inch thick, and they're gonna fit the speaker perfect. Fortunately, that happens sometimes, but I can save the black ones, label them, and save them for a template for another day. So I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take the speaker, the six by nine original speaker, I'm gonna drop it on and I'm gonna drill out the factory holes so I can put it in the car in the factory holes. All right, so you can see we got the spacer put in, back to the original factory screws so there was no extra drilling or cutting into the metal. My new speaker I've dry fitted, it fits perfect. And now we, so there's two ways to do it. Um, a standard install, uh, we would just sound detonate around the speaker and seal this to the door to give it um, a nice sealed and more sturdy uh, environment. Uh, I'm doing my whole door, so I'm going to do the whole door, uh, not just around this. Uh, most of our customers, we just do around this because they don't want to pay for the whole door. All right, so here's our finished product. Um, obviously, I cut out the speaker. I cut out the important things. I let these cables come through. I'm going to take the door panel next. I also cut out <clears throat> where the screws go. Um, I'm going to take the door panel next and press it against the door and figure out where the clips go and cut those out. And if you really wanted to get fancy, you could build an access plate to where that access hole is. But in my honest opinion, um, that's going to get cut. Like, I've done this to all my vehicles and I've never needed access. Knock on wood. Hopefully I don't this time. But... It isn't common and um, I'm not concerned about it, but you could build a plate so that there's a plate there that's easily removable um, to give you easier access. So here you can see we have our final product. Um, all of our holes are knocked out where the things go. This one I had to line the door up. That's why it tore a little, but you're not gonna see that. 
Um, and all the wires are coming out where they need to come out. And we are ready to, uh, we got to hook up our wires for the speaker and we're ready to put it all back together. Um, we added what's called contour rings around the speakers on all the doors. Um, but this is a complete sound detonator door and speaker install ready to roll.